Questions remain, but you are about to get some answers. Good evening, everyone. I'm Steve Hensley. And I'm Morgan Lentis. Police think a troubled relationship could have led to a double murder-suicide involving a former Knox County judge executive on Tuesday. Michael Smith, his son Dustin Smith, and former politician Raymond Smith all died. But tonight, the only shooting survivor, Robin Smith, the only person who can tell us exactly what happened in that home on Laurel Lakes Road in Bell County, talked exclusively with WIMT's Angela Sparkman from her hospital bed. 21-year-old Robin Smith says she was asleep Tuesday morning when Raymond Smith knocked on her family's door. She hollered my name and then the next thing I know, Raymond was busting down my bedroom door with a gun. She says he shot her dad first. Then she grabbed her baby nephew and ran outside. When I was running out the door, he shot me. And my brother, like, hit his arm so he couldn't shoot me around the head, and he shot me in my back. She says she and her nephew hid outside while her brother, 21-year-old Dustin Smith, fought Raymond Smith, which she believes saved her life. From her hiding place, she says she then saw Raymond Smith drive away. I called back to the house, and I think my dad and brother did. Robin Smith says she had a personal relationship with the former Knox County judge executive, but says she ended it months ago. Robin says she does not know why Raymond Smith turned violent. It's still such a shock coming. How someone could have the heart to do a family like that. Robin has a long road to recovery, but she says she will never recover from the loss of her father and brother. In Bell County, Angela Sparkman, WIMT Mountain News. Robin Smith is in stable condition at the University of Tennessee Medical Center. The baby mentioned was not injured. Now, family members are also remembering the father and son killed in the shooting. The family tells us Dustin Smith was supposed to leave for Eastern Kentucky University on Friday. They say Michael Smith always helped everyone. And, you know, it's, uh, it's a bad thing, but we're just, we're just trying to pray and, and cope and make it through it. The shooting has torn families apart in two counties and left many wondering how something like this could happen. WIMT's Phil Pendleton caught up with Robin's former basketball coach and a former worker of Raymond Smith. Questions still loom on why a former county judge respected by his constituents could take two lives and then his own. You have to feel a lot of grief for both families. And it's, it's just a tragic situation. Oxendine knew Smith since the former judge executive was a teenager. I saw him as a positive individual the whole time that, that I've known him. Police say the 51-year-old Smith was in a relationship with Robin Smith. They believe Raymond Smith was angry over how it ended. And that could have been a motive behind the shooting that injured the 21-year-old and killed her father and brother. It doesn't matter. A crime such as this, whether it's in California or Massachusetts or Florida or just recently in Idaho, uh, any time a life is taken, that's, that's tragic. Relatives say Robin Smith is now in stable condition. The young woman and her sister were athletes in high school where their former coach said Robin's brother was her biggest fan. Chelsea's brother was always uh, post her uh, stats and uh, put up her... Uh, what she won and her trophies on the internet and then, uh, you know, show everything she had done with, with basketball and in track. Smith is expected to recover and relatives say she suffered a punctured lung and broken ribs. She's being treated at the University of Tennessee Hospital in Knoxville. Phil Pendleton, WYMT Mountain News. The funeral for Raymond Smith will be held at the Hopper Funeral Home Chapel in Barberville Friday at 1. In other news, an investigation.